Did you think the descent of the South Atlantic was pretty cool for the skippers? Not really. After the doldrums, they have to negotiate the St. Helena high pressure system, which is not an easy task. It is situated in the South Atlantic. It goes by this name because it is often centered over the island of St. Helena, where Napoleon Bonaparte was exiled. But this is not an history lesson. What happens around this high pressure system? In the southern hemisphere, the wind turns anti-clockwise around the high pressure. On a direct route, the boats would need to sail upwind, which is not so good. On the western route, they can sail downwind around the high pressure system, which is much quicker. The high pressure moves, it gets bigger, and contracts in on itself. The ideal method is to sail around it and not go too close to its center, so as to avoid light winds. With a little luck, you have a low pressure system circulating the South Atlantic Convergence Zone. It pushes the high pressure towards the east, thus allowing you to sail a shorter route in very good wind conditions, reminiscent of being on a high speed train. Less fortunate skippers will not benefit from low pressures along the South Atlantic Convergence Zone. They will have less wind and often a longer route to sail since the low pressure is not there to push the high pressure to the east. Speeds here are closer to a streetcar or tram than a high-speed train. The trajectory in the Southern Atlantic, as well as a bit of luck, can have a big impact on the ranking. You see, it's not as simple as this to sail from the doldrums to the Cape of Good Hope. If you like this little video, come back next week. We'll have another one about the conditions in the Roaring Forties. See you soon. Yeah.